I'm Paul Psilka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 7, Section 4, Number 8. we got to make sure we know what's going on in the graph before we read it. Up top we've got distance and density of planetoids in the inner solar system. We've got a line going down, which means as one thing's increasing, the other thing's decreasing. As the distance from the sun increases, the density of the planetoid decreases. Another thing to note is that the line is called the line of best fit. It's a prediction. The dots are the actual. And below it reads, the scatter plot above shows the density of seven planetoids in grams per cubic centimeter with respect to the average distance from the sun in astronomical union, units AU. <coughs> the line of best fit is also shown. Number eight. The astronomer has discovered a new planetoid about 1.2 AU from the sun. At that point, I pause. I find 1.2 AU from the sun. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna predict it. And if I predict it correctly, it looks like if that's four and a half, that's 4.75 and that's five. So let's go like it's between four and a half and 4.75, so like 4.6, 4.7. And there is a 4.6 answer. And I uh, read the rest. According to the line of best fit, which of the following best approximates the density of the planetoid in grams per cubic centimeter? Sure enough, if I go to the left from there, and this is where I got that, 4.6, 4.7, yes, your correct answer is C. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble reading charts or graphs or tables. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.